G'day and welcome to part 66 of my Kingdom Come Deliverance Hardcore All DLC ah. playthrough. Previously we met up with Kuno's band and rode out on our first little mission with them, patrolling the countryside. Uh, and uh, had a little bit of a, a skirmish with some robbers in the woods, some bandits in the woods, which we of course came out on top of. Uh, we've reported back to Sir Radzig, and he is happy with our progress, but he's a little concerned that it's dealing with the House of Zul, who he had previous dealings with, who really aren't that keen on him because he uh, raised their castle to the ground and hung the head of the family. Um, so. Really? You're gonna try and ambush me and then run away? Man, I could just get my axe, couldn't I? There we go. You don't try and ambush me and then get away, bro. Ruffian. Ruffian. I'll take your money, thank you. That's a decent. Decent looking axe as well, to be honest. Mace. Yeah. Was it just you, or was there more of you? Just you? Well, that didn't work out for it. Or you did, you? Didn't hide very well in the woods. Um, put that away. Now, I don't really know what I'm heading into here, so let's just pull out our sword. We're better with that. Um, are we out of quality arrows? The piercing arrow in. Uh, and just load that as well. We make sure that is awesome. Good. Just note, I've only got eight arrows left. Yeah. This is where we're heading to. Now, let's uh, turn this off and turn this and this back on. So, the bold Sir Hans Capon inherited a lovely necklace from his great grandmother, which he lost at dice, and now he wants it back. That sounds simple enough, right? Some wayfaring nobleman won Sir Hans' necklace at dice and headed towards a ford near Sasa. If I want to get it back, I'd have to track him down. I've got to get back Sir Han's necklace, which he lost at Dyson and Ladeshko. For the love of his life. Naturally, any task for Capon would have to be as complicated as possible. A man who won it from lost won it from lost it to another player who's a nobleman traveling to Sassau. Right. Avengers! Fire done. Raiding with the party of four. Welcome in. Welcome in, Avengers Assemble. Get on in here. Get on in here, Avengers. And uh, thank you so much. Thanks so much for the raid. Fire done. Howdy. Yeah, fire done. Thank you so much for the raid. Really, really appreciate it. Um, how was your stream today? We're heading into clear and present danger right now. Well, this isn't good. This was the fitness stream. 350 push-ups. I'm shattered. Oh, 350. Oh, cutscene. Oh, dear. Are you after something? I'm afraid my friend here won't tell you much. Your friend? Oh, I'm very sorry. 
And um, well, I don't want to not in one go it, though. But far I was hoping out. to get I wouldn't be able to do from ten, it. let alone three hundred fifty. My master's necklace. You must be completely buff. Your master. <coughs> Who would that be? Well, Sir Radzig Cobbler of Scalitz is my liege lord. I'm Henry, but just now I'm helping Sir Hans Capon with a um, a, a private matter. Those are weighty names in these parts. I'm Sir Anselm of Domkey, in the service of... Well, that's not important. Well, that's not important. Yeah, who are you in the service of? I'd like to give you... Dude, that sounds that insane. Is... I'd like to ask you for your help. Uh, I'm important mission my own. Uh, I'm listening. I'm listening. Tell me what you know. I will. And I'm sure it will help you find that necklace. The thing is, this is all my fault. I got held Playing up some King and Come Deliverance today, Fire Dunn. By the time I got here, I found him like this. Ah, God have mercy on his soul. Amen, lad. I was heartbroken and enraged by turns, tearing my hair and cursing. Alphonse was my good friend, and it pains me to know he was only here on account of me. Uh, I brought him into a certain so was actually his friend. negotiate with some people, and he agreed. And this is how it ended up. When I finally pulled myself together... I took a look around and found some tracks. I followed them to the camp of those very brigands that Alphonse was supposed to negotiate with. Nah, you can't trust anyone these days. So how can I help? You can pass yourself off as Alphonse. Get into the bandits camp and find that fucking murderer. Wow. And when you do, Escalated you'll quickly. find what you're looking for. Um. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, well, it's not a simple necklace anymore, is it? Well, that doesn't make any sense. If one of them killed Alphonse, he'll know I'm not him. That's a fair no, point. No, They never saw him before. So whoever killed him surely took him for some passing merchant. Oh, Are you quite gee. sure they don't know So him? it's just happenstance. Why? He moved in altogether different circles. Among decent people. That's the very reason I asked Poor him Alphonse. for Alphonse. So I reckon the best thing is for you to introduce yourself as Alphonse. Have a snoop around. A little bit of covert, a little bit of espionage, it. it looks like, coming up. Why don't you do it yourself? Uh, wouldn't it be better if you did that yourself? After all, I know nothing about this Alphonse. They'd see through me. I'd do it if I could, lad. Only they know me. And I'm not on the best of terms with them. Yeah, they that's why he's brought in a negotiator. <laughs> then the two of us would be dead and those bastards would get away with it. Well, I hope I can avoid the same fate. Is there anything else I should watch out for while passing myself off as Alphonse? What do I need to know the about? The main him? thing is to look and sound like a noble. Not a peasant. Not a, peasant. a commoner. So dress the part. No rags or rusty iron. Do it. Quick recon mission and you're out of there in a jiffy. Oh yeah, I'm going to be doing it. Um, but it sounds a bit, sounds a bit dicey. And how am I supposed to recognize the killer? Ask around. I don't reckon anyone will admit to stabbing him in his sleep, but... You might pick up some clue. You could have a look around for that necklace. Now that I think of it, they stole other valuables from him too. Silver is silver, though. I won't recognise anything. Didn't he have something unique? A signet ring or a chain or... No, not that I can... He did? Oh, yes, he did. Dice, dice. of course, dice. He had a set of dice made specially in Prague. It was his pride and joy. They were red and gold, bright red and, and shiny. Gold. Not the kind of thing you'd overlook. Okay. What can you tell me about Alphonse? So they don't catch me out if they start I asking I need to write questions. this stuff down. Indeed. A few details should suffice. From Slenny? He was from Slani, but lived in Prague the last lived few years. Lived in Prague? He advised people very well too. He helped them to deal with problems of all kinds. Yeah, he sounds like a man of the world, but I've never even been to Prague. I'm not sure I can fool them. You can always change the subject. He was an ardent dice ardent player. Dice player. Forgive him. And he spent some time in Moravia on the service of Prokop of Luxembourg. But that was ages ago. Moravia. Prokov. Prok of of Luxembourg. She let's write it down. I get the feeling I'm gonna have to remember some of this. Okay. Um, what do you know about the brigands in that camp? Actually, do the homework. They're not just ordinary bandits. It's a robber baron and his band. 
Sir Erhard oh, Baron Bielowitz. It's not just ordinary Some bandits. Of his it's a robber baron. Commoners. They came here in the hope they'd have a better chance of Jeez. keeping their heads. Why don't you ask some of the local lords for help? I'm sure the Sassau custodian would lend you a few men. <sighs> There's nothing I'd like to see more than a lot of them strung up. Only I have a task that conflicts with that. And I'll lurk for a bit, gotta wash up and stuff, be back I'm in a bit. Sure yeah, no Sir problem, say done. Do whatever you need to do, man. Thank you again for the raid. Hopefully I'll see you back here soon. What was the purpose of Sir Alphonse's Yeah, negotiations? what were we actually meant to be doing? I need to know that. Look, Henry, you'd best avoid that subject if at all possible. Just find the murderer for me, get your necklace, and I'll take care of the rest. It'll be a bit hard to avoid that, since it was supposed to be the entire purpose of your yeah. visit. True. Yeah, well, what am I meant to be negotiating? Alphonse is supposed to talk Earhart into moving his robbing raids towards Benishoff, especially holding up merchants' wagons heading for Prague. In return, he was to offer a reward of up to 12,000 groschen and safe haven in Pilgrims. I see. Move robbing raids. So you work for someone in Pilgrims? No, neither Pilgrims nor Benishoff. Nor Vlashim, for that matter. It's a bit complicated. Damn politics. Sounds complicated. Right. My word. The whole thing sounds like quite a twisted affair. So are you going to help me? Yes, I'll help. I'll help you. I'll have to go, though, to look for the necklace anyway. And this seems as good a way as any. Thanks a thousandfold. And for the love of God, don't, don't get, get caught. caught. I'd never forgive myself if another man lost his life right. on my account. Don't get caught. If it starts to look risky, take to your heels. I'll bear that in mind. Starts to get risky now. We're going to be staying in if it's, ta if it's starting to get risky. Uh, I want to There's ask something you. else I'd like to ask. Anything I'll ask you now? I've no more questions. My sword away. Looks like he died without a struggle. Maybe killed in his sleep. Took everything he had, he money, jewelry, he had, even money, his boots. Jewelry, even his boots. Okay. Someone was searching for something here. Were they out to rob him of everything he had? Or something in particular? Hey, hey, what are you playing at here? Calm down. I'm examining the crime scene. You never seen CSI, bro? Get a horse? Get a horse. Could it be someone was trying to get rid of something here? Forged map. Okay. Is that is that examining the crime scene? Have I got everything there? Find out who killed Sarah Fons. Get back the necklace. Find the hideout of the robber baron and his merry band. My goodness. Uh, so, scorched map. The quest item. <laughs> that was the letter. That was a jewel. Yeah, that, was a, that was a quality letter. Um, other? Scorched map. Okay, let's have a look. Sasau. Lumber camp. Up the hill from the lumber camp with dice mark. Yeah, we're going at night time as well. This is this is risky. I reckon I I reckon I sleep. I reckon I sleep here. Hmm. We go at night. How's our nourishment looking? Good. Energy's a little bit low though. Maybe we sleep. Go in the morning. It's probably a smarter idea. Let's uh, have some of this. Okay. Any of these to sleep and save? Doubt it. Be serious, sleeping in other people's beds. Get out, or you'll be sorry. Wow, calm down. Hey, do you think you own the place? Snoring here. Clear <laughs> off. 
uh, sleep here. Hey, young fellow. Got Apparently, I can't sleep here. Okay. Well, there goes that idea. Right, we're not sleeping in the bed. Let's go across to the lumber. Maybe we will be going there tonight. Yeah. Got horses here. Anywhere I can sleep? Any beds? Well, all the beds are occupied. We're going back to Sassau. Got a bed. Got a bed. So our energy will be full up. Look at that. Our energy and nourishment pretty much at 100. We'll be up before he wakes up. They won't even know we're ever in here. Perfect. Yeah. Where is that torch? Now that torched map said like up from here. Are we really just walking into the woods again? Is there any track? There's a bit of a track. Apparently not. We're really just we're really just going straight up this hill in search of something. Yeah. Now we didn't get a save there, just note as well. Um, Turn back before Sir Radzig starts thinking I ran off. Go back here again. That wasn't helpful, was it? Yeah. Torch is probably not helpful, actually. It's hindering my view more than it's helping. Yeah. Bloody. I feel like I'm looking for the treasure map again. Um, have I gone all the way down to there? Camp. 
Oh, there's a marker? Oh, it's north. Well, that... Well, that map wasn't very helpful, was it? It said that it was going the other way. Well, of course, if I just look at my map, I probably would have found it immediately, but sure. I'll just try and ride wherever I think it is. Going in the entirely wrong direction. Brave. Hello? Sure, we'll dig up the grave. Ooh. The money buried as well. Bowman's brew, Groshen, lockpick. Very nice, very nice. Um, now, in terms of them where we are. We just head back downhill, find the yeah. find the woodcutters camp again. Hi. Right. So now we've got our bearings again. So from the woodcutters camp, it's not. It's this way. We'd be better off going up the the road and then just hooking a left. Hi. Right. Well, the burnt out, the scorched map did not help at all. Useless scorched map. Good thing I didn't try and find it last night. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Up to here. And then pretty much just go in, is the impression I'm getting. Yeah, straight up here. Might need to go up a little bit and hook in, but yeah. But I think I can go straight up that embankment. So I'll go up yeah. a little bit and then we'll go left. Like, crunch immediately when we can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Not in the red area yet. Yeah. There we are. Aha. I think we have found it. Found something. Didn't save. Whoops. <laughs> Dog. Day. Wait here for me. Stay. Okay. We didn't save and sleep, so let's do that. Save now. All right. I've got my sword equipped here, so I look the part. Okay. Would I be right in assuming this is the encampment of Sir Earhart? Uh, Baron, Baron Bilovitz. Bilovitz. You must be Sir Alphonse, eh? Yes. All the way from Prague, eh? From Slanny. Not at all, Goodman. Uh, from Slanny. Ah, well, that's quite a haul. How was your journey? As well as might be expected in these perilous times. Oh, aye. The roads ain't safe yeah, at you're all these me. days. Sir There's Alphonse all is dead. sorts of rabble waiting to rob unwary folk and even kill them. 
Indeed, indeed, I concur. Concur. One must oh, be wary. I'm well, very cautious, noble, aren't I? Even, the way I'm speaking. Traveling. Right then, but you'll have to wait a while. Sir Earhart is busy at the moment. No matter. I shall just, uh... Ah, but it's easy to pass the time here. There's always a dice game going on, with nice things being wagered. I had my eye on a fine pair of gauntlets and some old. So we gotta piece win the dice jewelry. tournament. Uh, jewelry. I mean, we gotta, we gotta win, we gotta win right. dice. Just go and see old Blaha, the fellow sitting at that table there. He can read, write, and do sums as good as any scribe, and other things too. He keeps things. And in we're shape looking out for golden. Thank you. I may well do Golden that. dice. Take part in the dice tournament. What was that noise? Me, brother. Old Blaha. Uh, why are you waking me? Come away. I mean, they're bandits, right? Can I not just poison their food? Kill them all and then search the search the camp. I mean the thought does cross my mind. Okay. Plenty of dice tables. I feel like there are plenty of ways to do this quest. I don't think there's any one way uh food that bread shall we the nourishment up hello sir that's trespassing trespassing is it okay i feel like that's where things are kept. So we got an archery range. Knuckle weave. Must be his horse. Looks like some sort of I mean, they look like there was a mine entrance there. Uh, so don't do anything wrong or you'll end up like this poor fella here it looks like uh, that's they're certainly not where I want to end up there's a way out here good to know what a way out here I could steal all their gear, but I don't see any reason for that right now. I'll make them suspicious. Okay. Another way out here. So there's plenty of ways in, in and out if I need to run. So, looks like there's going to be a dice tournament. Is the dice man still not awake? It's a guy on guard. Oh wow, there's lots of bandits. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Apparently, by force isn't the best way. Oh, hello. 
So force is not going to win this unless I poison them all. Save mushrooms. Oh, I'm so tired. So this comes up here. Okay. Alright, so I'm just getting the layout of this joint. So maybe I can steal things at night time from there. Can you run up and over this? No. Apparently not. Okay, so. We're gonna wait for the dice master to get up and then we can leap from the pot. Can I have a word with you? What do you want? What's your story? You don't I ain't true enough. I'm a local. I don't go raiding with them. When they're here, I just look out for them, bring them supplies and that. Ah. And what do you do when they're not here? Whatever's needed. But being the go-between for them that set up the ambushes pays well. And you don't have to risk your neck for it. And can you tell me something about the this place? It's been here as long as I can remember. I used to come here as a youngster. So to we have with to my win mates. a dice tournament. Anyway, though. one time I but had to lie low for a bit, so I came here to find a murderer as gentlemen. well. We pay good coin when you bring them some wine and a bit. It's gonna of be hard. Why did you have to disappear? I mean, one ah uh, nothing terrible. One bad move Just and there's like twenty one bandits girl. here. Only your old man and her brother didn't take to me. For the hills. Besides which, she was promised to some rich merchant. Once they had her married off, they forgot about me, though. I'll leave you to it. Okay. So you set up the ambushes. You're not one of the bandits. Anyone else want to talk to me? I doubt it. What about you two? Bandit. Bandit. Pocket. Okay. Medolta. Berta. They have dialogue. Okay. Okay. Okay, so those two I can talk to. But not yet. Not yet. Calm down. Old Blaha. You. Do I go talk to? Let's go. Can you tell me something about you? What can I tell you? I can read and write a bit, and I help Sir Earhart out when he needs it. Although, okay. I have to say, since the Baron took to robbing, there's not much work for me anymore. And what did he do before? What every landed noble does. He still had some estates and income. This is actually them. a little, a little Only stressful. Only lost it all some years ago on account of debts, so he had to find some other livelihood. How did he find it? That was my doing. I heard from a scribe about some ownership feud that ended up badly for both sides. Since then, it's been left neglected. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Aye, the vagaries of fortune, eh? Times are harsh and what have you. It's always been that way and always will. I wonder how many burned out, abandoned ruins will be left when Sigismund withdraws. How many folk will have no homes to return to? And how mm. many won't be returning Gee, ever? It's, it's, um, but that's our lot in this reminiscent of, of current times, isn't There'll it? There'll be no peace and quiet till the next life. Amen to that. Have you got any special... Nothing out of the ordinary. Just remember, we're not some bunch of dirty bandits. This is the camp of a noble knight, so no unnecessary brawls, stabbings, or such like tomfoolery. Not that I need to explain that to you, sir. Quite. Nothing else? Well, that also means a man might take offence at something and challenge you to a duel. Always swords, and until first blood. Ah, very well. 
I shall try not to give offence. I was told I could have a game or two here until Sir Earhart has time to see me. Aye, he's got his hands full at the moment. You must be Sir Alphonse, eh? I'm Blaha, Sir Earhart's servant. I take yeah, okay, care let's of have a dice game, game then. Including dice? It has come to my attention that there are interesting things being wagered. Got plenty of money. True enough, we've got a fine pair of plate gauntlets. Two, two necklaces. necklaces. One of them's a lovely piece. A good sharp sword and some other things. I don't remember what. The custom here is if you want to play, you've got to wager something. Yeah, I'm ready to wager. Now I'll have to bet something too. Far be it from me to disrespect established custom. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Good luck. We'll wager, we'll wager the whole kit and caboodle. You want to play right away, or...? Yeah, I'll play. Why wait? I'll play now. Sure. It's late. Come tomorrow, all right? It's late? You mean it's not early enough yet? Now can I play? I want to play... You'll have to wait a while. Have to wait a while. Okay, so we got to wait to play dice. Uh, there's still those other two guys I want to talk to. They're not up yet. Madolta and Berta. Okay. Noggin, I can talk to you. Can I ask something? Oh. Who are you? They call me Noggin. I'm Sir Earhart's vassal. Vassal. Pleased to okay. make your acquaintance. Likewise. Sir? Why are you hiding out here? We're not hiding. We're just... Well, couldn't you rest from your profession just as well in Sasso? What's Sasso got that we don't have here? Good point, good point. Have you been out of the camp recently? Maybe down by the river? Why would I? We've got an outhouse here. <laughs> what about the others? Why would they? There's water here, game in the woods, supplies enough. What else could a man want? To kill some wandering by a traveller? That's all Perhaps. I need to know. Perhaps. Perhaps just to kill some wandering traveller? Another question. What do you want? No. I'll leave you to. Okay. We've, we've talked to a few people. What the? I play dice yet? I want to play. You'll have to wait. You're pretty rubbish, aren't you? I wouldn't care if you're trying to shoot me. So we just sit and wait then. We'll just pass some time, wait for those guys to wake up. We're looking for Malota. Here we go, this guy. He looks sus, Can I doesn't ask he? you something? Ask away. Anything to pass this guy the time. Looks sus. You're my daughter, right? I am. Why'd you ask? Just curious. This is quite an interesting retreat you men have here. You could put it that way. I ain't been here long though. <sighs> Are I you the murderer? Them out a tight spot, and they took me with them. Is that right? Well. I was lying in wait for this wagon. Oh, really? Because he'd been mouthing off about me, so I figured I'd take all he had for compensation. Anyway, I'm hiding there in the bushes, and I hear this wagon coming, so I jumped out to ambush him. Only it wasn't that wagoner, but some merchant. As soon as he saw me with my weapon drawn, he started screaming bloody murder, and next thing, his armed escort comes charging up, and I was the one ambushed. The injustice, the injustice of, of it. Vexing indeed. Vexing indeed. Aye. <laughs> anyway, you were ambushing he someone with, and they tried they to get you. They figured I was Sir Earhart's spy and they wanted me to lead them to him. Of course, 
I told them I didn't know what the fuck they were on about. So, while they were threatening to break me on the wheel, string me up and what have you, along comes the said he started with streaming. Man, G'day, and they lay into the soldiers and send them running for the hills. And ever since then, I've been riding so this, with them. So this is the that sort is of guy who anecdote. is likely... If it hadn't been for me, the fellows would have run straight into a trap and it'd all be up with them. So, it's on account of me, they're still alive. And how are things here? Do you get away much? We ain't allowed to leave. So I've been here the whole time. I don't We ain't allowed to leave. There's always something to pass the time. And we've got that wench. That's all. Okay, so he's the sort of person to ambush someone, but he says he's not allowed to leave. Should have stayed home. Okay. There's one more person to try. Talk to Noggin. Berta. Can I ask you something? Ask away. How you say, Abby Funky? Tell me something about yourself. Why do you want to know? You want to spread the word about what a good. This is the first person has been evasive. Huh? Everyone else curious. has been pretty you know upfront. What they say? Curiosity killed the cat. But if you must know, they call me Berta, and I'm Sir Erhart's right-hand man. Berta. <laughs> ah, you heard of me, have you? The scourge of Vlashim. No man who felt the edge of my axe lived to tell the tale. Fair enough. But why are you hiding out here? I wouldn't call it hiding. We're trying to do a few things here, I'm just telling you. a rest. From what? Trying to get back a things necklace for a nobleman. For us. Trying to find Nobody out who committed a here. murder. Just as long as we don't Trying to win a dice assassin. tournament. And we're trying to not get ourselves killed. Don't you leave the camp at all? What are you trying to say? That we're shitting ourselves here? No, no. I was just wondering if you knew what's going on around these parts. We come across hunters now and then, or pilgrims on the road. There are charcoal burners nearby. Sometimes they pass the time of day with us. But we've got no course to cross the river. Sounds <laughs> like you're trying too hard. No, it's, it's all within one quest. Sasau. They're too close to Sassau. Don't cross the river. So he says he doesn't cross the river. He says they don't leave, but he does leave the camp. Uh, there's no one's given us any more information. No one else has given us any information. What about you? You don't want to talk? No? Um... Right, okay, can we start the dice tournament? Seems like people are playing dice. Alright, good. Let's go. Alright, let's get into the dice tournament. Noggin. He's not the brightest. He ain't a good loser. He ain't a good loser. So he might challenge me to a duel is what you're saying. Uh, which dice am I choosing here? Shrinking playing dice is loaded in my favor, of course. Lucky playing dice. We'll grab two of those. Um, lucky die. Yep. One, two, three, four, and then the odd die. Yep, we want it to land on odd numbers. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we got all our loaded die ready to rock and roll. 6,000 we have to get to. And we have the, the rolling ability. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty big tournament. Okay, let's get that one. Roll again. But this could get us the necklace if we win the tournament, effectively. Oh, yeah. Oh, very good. And score and pass. 2,000. Very good. I just want to eat and sleep. Unfork. Three fives, it's 500. Could go bust here. No, he does, he picks up a single five. He's gonna go again, surely he goes bust. Oh, he got a one, it looks like. Ah, oh, man. He's, uh, he stopped. I was gonna say, if he rolls again, that's, that's crazy. Ah, uh, easy. One, 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 and grab a five as well, and we'll pass with that. So, if we win this, hopefully we can get back Sir Hands' as necklace for the love of his life. But we got to find out who committed the murder as well. And I get the feeling it's... Oh, hang on, we get a full full collection here. Um, 
score and roll again. Please don't go bust, I was gonna say. Uh, and that's actually... Uh, does that give us the win? Let's just uh, score and pass. It does, awesome. Beat the first opponent, done. Are you gonna be upset that we use loaded dice? You're a fucking cheat! Sir. I challenge you, I to, challenge a you to a duel. I accept. I won't take any accusations from you. I accept. Let's go. You fucked up there. Challenge me to a duel. Come on. Swing the first blow. Yeah. First blood. That was what it said. Sword away. Bro. Yes, we don't want to. Let him go, disarmed. Have him pay. Release him unconditionally. We're Take just, your hardware and get the hell out of my sight. We're just, we're just dueling for honor. I understand. God be with you. You can take your sword. Okay. He's running. Okay, so we won the first one. And we did do what the custom was, which was, um, accept the duel. I want to play dice. They fell your way last time. You'll play Berta. Berta? He's a man, but they call him that for some reason. Damned if I know why. Okay, let's go. Second one. So this guy's going to roll better, clearly. We'll have to get all our loaded... I mean, he, the guy wasn't wrong. Um, we, we were a cheat. <laughs> You're a fucking cheat. Yes, yes, sir, we are. Um, uh, I guess we take that. 800 is not bad. It's not a bad start. We'd have liked something over 1,000, but we'll have to take 800. I mean, that's pretty good. He gets one thousand one hundred. Does he roll? He's got one loaded die. He's got two. He's got two loaded die. We've, good thing we got a full. We got a full collection. Um. Oh yes, perfect. Uh, and let's score and roll again. The second chop at the cherry. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Three fifty. It's better than nothing. Yeah, score and pass. I mean, I could have just taken the one, uh, but we already had a full roll, so I didn't want to push my luck too much. I mean, we should should clean up this guy pretty easily. It looks like, unless he gets a really good roll. But I mean, we're we're coming up with quality rolls left, right, and center. Another thousand one hundred. I mean, we did wager what one thousand two hundred and fifty. We didn't show that we're no pinch, pu pinch purse, as they say in this game. I'm no pinch purse. Oh, he went bust. Are you going to challenge me to duel as well? Or are you just going to try and kill me because I cheated? Um, how much does that give me? 400? Let's just take the one and roll again. Can we get a better roll? Looks like it. Oh, yeah. We've got... Oh, we'll take 600. Take 600. So 700 all up. So we need 950. 950. I'd like to finish it on the next roll. Because he's got a couple of loaded die. I mean, look at this. He's just cleaned up 1,500. It can, can change very quickly. And he's going to go again. Come on, go bust. If he goes bust here, I think we're home. Now he gets a one. That's 2,000 you got on that roll. They caught up a lot there, but I'm still well ahead. And I just need... Not enough. Uh... Roll again. Oh, yes. Look at that. Four ones. Nice. And score and pass. Easy. Second round one. He doesn't want to challenge me to duel. You want to talk to me? Or say anything else? Another question? Alright. 
Nothing else. Oh, oh, the lady's here. Quick, 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 quick her. Sir Earhart will receive you now. What's going on here anyway? Haven't you ever been in the camp of a merry band of robbers? Never quite this merry, to tell the truth. They've got their loot, and now they want some fun. Booze, dice, and women. And women. I'm the only girl here. They're more, They're interested, more interested in dice, in dice anyway. anyway. And boozing. And they're no fun at all. Well, they seem very fond of their dice or... Aye. They always play the same way. Every player bets his, his most, most valuable, valuable piece, piece of loot. loot. And the winner, and takes, the winner all. takes all. It ends in a fight most times. Okay. Although it's a long time since Don't anyone got sure. killed Long time it. since anyone got killed no. over it. I'd better watch my step then. You do that, handsome. It'd be a shame to spoil that pretty face. Okay. So we've got a choice here. Find out who killed, take part in the dice tournament, parlay with Einhardt, beat the third opponent. We've got so many different options here. I mean he'll parlay with us now. What if I go for the dice tournament? You know what? I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save. And if it goes completely uh, terribly, we'll go back and take the other options. But I want to, I want to win the dice tournament. I want to play. They fell your way last time. You'll play against Maladata. He's. A All right, let's try and let's try and win. Win the dice tournament. We'll do this first. All right. I want to win the dice tournament, because that means I get all the loot, I'll get Sir Hans's necklace, which is the primary reason why we're coming here. I mean, that's a good start, isn't it? That's a good start, isn't it? 2050. Oh, no. Oh, he's got the golden dice. He killed him. We found our murderer. We found our murderer. Malotta. Okay. We found our murderer. Right. Um, just the one and roll again roll again um so this is our murderer so how can i prove it though because he's got the golden dice yeah they're not rolling very well for me now are they roll again can we get anything better here we're going greedy Ooh. you know what let's just take that I think we take it. Score and pass. 400. We'll have to take 400. We'll be happy with that. Come on. This guy's going to have good die rolls. One. He's going to go again. Yeah, he knows how to play. So this is our murderer. Gonna go again now. Got the devil on it. That was the. It was a devilish. Or whatever it was. Holy crap. Okay, we just got a lot of points. I need to clean house very quickly here. I mean, that's decent. We'll have to take it. 1,100. Or in pass. He's still ahead of me though. Am I gonna lose the dice tournament? Far out. Holy. <laughs> oh, he just cleaned house. Oh, okay. But he's got... But we know he's got... I'd like to ask you... Ask away. That's all. You cheated. I'll kill you. Ah, a bit of fun for a change. The last fella I killed didn't even see me coming. So you did kill him. <laughs> yeah, first blood. Put the sword away.
Um, I'll let you go. What's to be done? I'm going to follow you. Sure you can't sprint forever. Jesus Christ. You killed You killed Alphonse. I killed Alphonse. Alphonse's dice. Thank you. Does that does that let us figure out who killed him? I mean we found it out, right? Uh which way do we run from? Uh, of course. Tempted to kill you. I'm gonna take your sword from you, though. What are you doing here? Tired of life. <laughs> oh, you want to fight? Don't see Looks like you're gonna die then. Alright. Now, I don't know if this was the right course of action. But, I mean... We've done it. So, we'll have to see. I did say I'd kill him. Yeah. We came from this way. Yeah, there it is. That gear on the on the horse though. I want to play dog. Maybe this time you'll fail. Then there's Pekuna. He's a local fellow who brings stuff for us. Ooh, he put, put up, up a, a nice, nice necklace, necklace as his wager. What? You put up the nice necklace? This should scare you. <laughs> uh... This should scare you then when I start using the dice that you killed from the dude. There are more than one of you that killed him. I don't know if these dice are actually going to fall my way. I mean, they definitely fell the way of the other dude. Maybe I shouldn't have chose these dice. Now we're cooking with gas. That and pass. I mean, did we did we get back in the tournament because we killed the guy who won? Is that how it works? Oh man, far out. That bastard, my daughter. Damned if I know, but the longer he stays away, the better. He's a fucking mad dog. Yeah, so Where's he gone? We killed him. 
<laughs> oh, whoops. Whoa, okay. Does that just win us the game? Oh, fucking sick head. Close. 5,800. Almost, dude. Almost. You have to roll again on one. That's that's not a good look. He actually gets it. Oh my goodness. He had a two and six shot. Had a two and six shot and he got it. Okay. I mean, we just need 200 points. 200 points. That's all we need. Yeah, nice. Okay. Does that mean we get the, the necklace? Have I won? How did I do? Actually, nobody won. You and Pakuna have the same score. So you'll have to play one more game to decide the victor. Alright, let's well. play. Let him have it. Unlikely. Now, I think I'll just go back to my die because I'm not convinced that those die were much better. Even though I lost against them. Alright, let's go. So this is for the necklace. For Sir Hans's necklace. Uh, okay. So, probably just the one... Go again. Hmm, let's go again. We'll, we'll try our luck. That three ones. Uh, no, we we'll take that and go then. 350, that's a pretty poor start. Pretty poor start. Looks like he's having a previous, a similar start as well. Unless he rolls big here. No. He's gonna go again, maybe he goes bust. See a couple of twos. Where the fuck is that bastard Mladota? Damn if I know. But the longer he stays away, the better. He's a fucking mad dog. Well, good, glad to hear you guys think that, because I killed him for you. He's three, he's rolling again, come on. That's a six, right? Bust, it's a four. Nice. Hey. Oh, there's a lot of ones. I see a lot of ones. Oh, beautiful. Pass on that. 2050. I mean, that's what I got against Malotta, and he just pulled out like four and a half thousand on a single round. Good thing Malotta's not here to, um, you know, contest the tournament because uh, he probably would have won. He gonna roll again? He is too. He, he thinks he's lucky. Is he lucky? He is too. Yahtzee. <laughs> is that is that the modern day equivalent? Is it? Is that what we're playing? I assume something like this would probably be outlawed in modern times. Just like um, I know, like two up. Um, so. Game Australian service ex servicemen and servicemen are allowed to play on Anzac Day. Uh, is it like is it illegal at any other time throughout the year? Um, uh, actually, grab the one. Yeah, I'm gonna get soaked. What else is it's a dice game where you try roll a five of a kind in three rolls. Yeah, well, it's similar to that. I wouldn't say it's exactly the same. Uh, just the one. Go again. It's similar, but there you got to get you only score on ones and fives, or if you have triple trip, <coughs> excuse me, ones or fives, or if you have a triple of an amount, um, or if you have I'm a one, so two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, away, nice, easy, easy points here. So we get one. Dog. That's a thousand and fifty. We'll pass on that, it's pretty good. 4,250. What do you got, mate? Come on. Nothing yeah, good, nothing good, nothing I'm good. Get nothing good. What else is there to do here? 
It's five and a one. Surely you stop rolling. Yeah, okay, stop rolling. So we need 1,750. Yeah, and we can get it easily. Clean up. And pass. Nice. So we win. Does that mean we get the, the necklace and everything in the treasure chest? We get the whole kit and caboodle. Right. Have I won? How did I do? Have I won? Well now, Sir Alphonse, you took them all by storm. Here's the key to the prize. Thank you kindly. Okay. I just want to eat and sleep. Pick up your winnings from the dice tournament. Yes, yeah, so now this is not out of bounds. Or not uh, whatever it's called. Press passing. Anything else here I'd be interested in? Unlock. Capon's family necklace. Sweet. Take that. We'll take that. Silver neck chain. Very nice. Okay, so we have the necklace. That's one part of this quest. Got the dice winnings. Okay, Capon's family necklace back. Anything else? Now, we can leave. <laughs> Bring the necklace to Capon. Yeah, I'm just waiting for all these quest notifications to go. Alright, so. Game of Throws. Honey's word, we've got it. Find out who killed Sir Alphonse. Give the necklace to Sir Hans. I mean, I killed the dude. I killed the murderer. So he's so already done. I could eat my beef. Are you upset that I beat you? No. I'm not going to let him have it. Um, let's chuck that. Elongated. Is that actually better than the one I have? No. On the horse. On the horse. Silver neck chain. 50, 14, 45, 20, 60. Okay, so, the one I have is better. Move to horse. Okay. And I did get a hunting duelist. Move that to horse. Horse. Okay. Okay, so, now we can, now the guy, we could leave. But I'm, I'm interested in the content, right? I'm interested in the content. So we've got the necklace. We've killed the murderer. I was told not to let you pass. Oh, sorry. Thought I was talking to. Oh, fuck. Can I not talk to Sarah Alphonse now? I managed to avoid getting into negotiation with Sir Erhart and kept him at a safe distance. Oh, okay. Alright, so I don't need to talk to him. <laughs> So I can just fucking boring. So I can just leave. Won the tournament. I think I can just I can I can actually just walk out. I think I can actually just walk away. No one's gonna try and kill me. I survived the two duels I was in. I killed the killed the murderer. I wonder if that'll come up though as as me being able to say that. I just walk away. I just walk away. That's it. I'm out. Successful little yeah. successful little foray. Now, how to get out of here, I'm not sure. Ride downhill. Find a river. Probably yeah. the best route. I mean, my alternate option, which when I first walked in, was to poison their food and just kill them all and then steal the stuff and get out. I mean, that was the, uh... That was the secondary option that I had. Am I going downhill? Probably I should have made it to the river by now. I feel like I'm lost. Nice. Found a river. Yeah. This way? Yeah, I went too far one way. Anyway, we'll make our way back. 
Time for a cold one now. I mean, good call. Let's have let's have a drink. We'll have some we'll have some beer, and we'll have some wine. Ah, can't have the wine yet. I'm too full. We had some beer though. I mean, I don't think it's particularly cold because I've had it on me for for quite a while. Um, but uh, where is this? Oh wow, I am way too far wrong way. I went I went to the wrong river. <laughs> okay. I definitely went way too far one way. I was disorientated there for a moment. I'm like, hang on, that isn't what the river's meant to look like. Until I realized I'm at the river on the complete other side. I mean one tree looks like another, right? A bit hard sometimes. So if we go back and talk to the the dude that we were meant to be going there to negotiate on behalf of, which we actually didn't end up doing, which was good, that's what he said to do, avoid negotiations. So we did avoid the negotiations. Um because that would have just got us in trouble because we're not actually Sir Alphonse. Um Yeah. Well, Sir Alphonse was murdered. By Melota, we think, and then we murdered Melota. Although that was based off of just who had to die. Um, the other dude, Petuna, had the yeah. had a necklace put up for the tournament, but there were two necklaces put up. So he could have put up the other necklace, is what I'm thinking. Alright, let's talk to this guy. I found the killer. I have good news for you, Sir Anselm. I know who killed your friend. Who was it? It was Malotta. The wench did it. It was Mladotta, one of the brigands. How did you find out? Uh, from the dice? From the dice. All right. I'll take care of it from here. You take care of and it. I owe you for helping He's me. already dead, mate. I've taken care yeah. of it. Henry, take this. I'm sorry I don't have more on me. But if you're ever in Prague, come, come and look, look you up, up. And I'll see you're well taken care of. It's been a pleasure, Sir Anselm. Godspeed. Nobleman's hat. So you're off to go kill Malotta. But Malotta's dead. So you just chill here and do nothing. I already got him for you, bro. I had your back. What's that? A moat. Yeah, mate. It's all good. No need to panic. In fact, I should be able to have that wine now. Cellar to brewery wine. Nice. Right. So now we go back. He's just chilling with a helmet on suddenly. Expecting to ride in battle. Yeah, because I think... See, what's happened is I tell him who the murderer was and he's going to go off and kill him, right? But I've already killed the murderer. I didn't let him get away. Uh, so... The game is like, right, let's go in, let's go kill him. And then the game's picked up that the, the dude who he's gone meant to go kill is already dead. So now he's just sitting there chilling. So he's probably going to sit there and chill for the rest of the game. Um, <laughs> right, so we need to go return to Sir Hands. Uh... Yeah, give Sir Hans the necklace. Yeah, so it's literally both of these. So you could have done this without actually doing that, I guess, just by getting in there and stealing it. Just getting in there and stealing the necklace, I guess you could have done it, because there was that yeah. back way in and through the, like, the tunnel underneath. So we had our options. We had options that we could have used, but we had just won the tournament. I mean, I guess we did win the tournament Yeah. because we went and murdered the dude who beat us. But I mean, he had it coming. He's yeah. a filthy murdering swine, so it's all good. I too always put on a medieval helmet on when I'm chilling. Yeah, I wish I had a medieval helmet. I mean, I assume it would be incredibly heavy and my neck would probably just snap under the, uh, under the strain. One thing a lot of people don't realize is how freaking buff people were 
back in the day, back in medieval times, just to wear armor. Just to wear armor would have been so tiring. Just to hold up a sword, to literally lift a sword, would have been ridiculously tiring. Um, you know, like they are heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, knights had to have, um, like, have to have their, their gear helped to be put on, you know. Or even put on while they're sitting on the horse or something, you know. That's why, uh, like, dismounting a... If you dismounted a knight, yeah. then often they were pretty defenseless because, you know, their, their arm was so heavy that they couldn't even really move that freely. Thank God for squires, yeah. Oh, uh, who we got here? Humans. Oh, yeah. Help! Help! I kill a cumin, I kill a cumin. I see a cumin, I kill a cumin. Where are they at? Tired of life, eh? Got you, bro. Got you back. You're okay, merchants. I'm gonna protect you. Right, I'll yeah. get off the horse and deal with him. Let's go. Let's go, cumin scum. Let's go. Die. Die. You cumin scum. How dare you be in my lands. You lads okay? You lads good? Ah, oh, one merchant died. Feels bad. You lads good? You're okay? Survived? Made it out okay? Good stuff. I mean, not everyone lived, yeah. but that's the way it is, right? And we are actually a little bit overweight. So if we have to get off the horse and run, we can't actually run right now. A wise person would stop, take a moment, and put that gear onto the horse. But I'm not going to do that. Considering he knows that there is a high chance for ambush coming up, we're going to take the risk. Any ambushes? Any ambushes? No? Okay. It's like we uh, are safe. Should be able to make it nicely back to... Rate. I think that's where... Actually, let's just look. Where is Sir Hans currently? Don't tell me he's in Sassau. Uh, is this him here? Yeah, okay. He's in Rate. Yeah. Don't go to the camp. <sighs> yeah. yeah, and we're not writing out the second mission just yet. I just want to finish this one for Sir Hans. Literally, literally, literally riding past the encampment triggered it. Should have gone the other way. I still don't know what that horse is doing there. I think, it, I think that is actually bugged a little bit. I mean, until um, Radzik needs his horse again, I guess, it'll stay there. It's a pretty small bug, really. I'll take it. Could even perhaps go and see Teresa. 
go for a stroll in the lovely afternoon sun, unless it's too late for her already. Radzik, no, not Radzik. The Hans. God Here you, you go. God be with you and so with your necklace. Here you go. God bless you. What troubles you? I got your necklace. You don't know what I went Excellent through to get it. News. I'm not going to ask you how you did it. Here's <laughs> not going to ask, are you? you? Now you can carry on with your next task. Next task. I want you to sneak the jewelry into Carolina's trunk along with this letter. Can't I just hand them to her? No. You cannot. Under no circumstances must she find out who sent them. Couldn't you sneak Otherwise, them the into whole the trunk, sir, is fucked. Oh, and by the way, Henry, watch out for the butcher. He keeps He's a, a very, very close, close eye, eye on his daughter. his daughter. And if he catches you sniffing around, well, may all the saints preserve you. Once you've delivered the things, wait a day, and then come back and see me. Sealed love letters. Man cannot live for your my goodness, Sir Hands, you're making it hard for me. Okay. So, what are we going to do? Sneak it into her trunk. This is the butcher here. Sneak it into her trunk and then wait a day and come back and see. So I'd like to do that now. So then I can go do Band of Bastards and come back later. Sneak the necklace and let it into Carolina's trunk. Next task. Apparently this kind of ridiculous caper is all the rage in France. Discreetly and unobtrusively then. Into her trunk. I mean, they're all in the shop at the moment, right? Can I just like go around the back? Oh. Is someone there? Apparently this is now a private area. Seriously? Wow, I didn't know I could jump that. Actually didn't know I could jump that. We're sneaking. Hey you! What are you doing? Fuck off before I lose my temper! Dude, why is it all of a sudden everyone is like circling the butcher's place? What? Dude, just leave. What was that noise? <sighs> everyone is hungry. No, it's like everyone is now sitting here I can make it up the stairs I must have imagined it so you're coming this way so if I can get around the front get up the stairs get in are oh, the shop guards now going out here this is Carolina isn't it isn't that the daughter that's the one I'm trying to get into the, into the trunk of. Okay, he's facing the other way. No guards are really looking here. You can now come out. Okay, he's coming back. What are you snooping around here for? Is something the matter? Calm down. Not anywhere I shouldn't be yet. 
Really? Do I need to wait till night time? <sighs> wait till night time. Wait till night time. Everyone's asleep. Right. Yeah. Um, so that one might have to wait, Sir Hands. I mean, we've got the necklace, but uh, you have to wait to deliver your love letters for the time being. I mean, you're just going down to the bathhouse, aren't you? You lazy. You could be snooping around there yourself. You're the Lord. Just walk in. I'm not going to suspect it's you. Why would the girl suspect that you're the one who's leaving her love notes? That makes no sense at all. Wouldn't suspect you at all. You'd be the last one they'd suspect. You want to go for a walk? My God, Henry. You look a sight. What have you been doing? Apparently, I look bad. Um... Would you like to go Wouldn't somewhere? You like to take a stroll? I'd love to. She'd love to. Look at that. She'd love to. Where are we going to? Looking out over the valley? Henry, I don't want to complicate things, but... How do you think it will be between the two of us? After all that's happened to us both, you're all I have left in my life. But you've got a lot of work for Sir Radzig and... And I'm afraid you'll have to leave me too. No. I don't want to leave you. I don't know how it'll be. Everything will be all right. Have no fear. I'll never leave you. That's right. Wherever my duties might take me, we'll still be together. That's right. After all, you're all that's left to me too. And even though everything might change. Henry, will you promise me something? Anything. 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 Promise me you'll take care of yourself, even if you were to go away for a long time and meet other girls. If I were to lose you too, I don't know what I'd do. Ah, oh, Teresa. Just promise me. I promise. Thank you. I know it's a hard thing to promise, but... You know, well, we ought to be heading back. I still Gee, that was that was a pretty, that was a pretty um, serious one. Crying like a baby here. Definitely not. You'd start me off too. <laughs> right then, let's go. So, did she make me promise that I would like move on if I went elsewhere? Is that like what she was Time saying? Time passes so quickly with you, Henry. I think come that's what she said, right? Sometime. I will come and see you again sometime. What's the what's the modifier I have? Uh, buffs, smitten. When you're smitten in love by love, the world seems more beautiful than before, and maybe you seem more beautiful to the world. After spending time with your beloved, your charisma is temporarily increased by three. Nice, very nice. Active perk buffs. Look at all my active perks. All my buffs. Oh, I got a level in something. Speech. Uh, last one. Trustworthy middleman. Merchants will be more willing to buy stolen items from you. When a trader loses patience with you during haggling, you get one more chance to make another offer. I mean, I don't need to sell stolen items to merchants. That's what I have millers for. They just go final offer in haggling. Cool. Righto. If you're watching over on YouTube, that's going to be the end of episode 66. So be sure to like, subscribe, God and comment. You, oh, God save you, Teshek. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, have a good one.